video is sponsored by me, Shelby Frick, with Fairy Tale Concierge. We are working hard for you to save you time, headaches, and money. I can create a package for any Disney vacation that you would like to plan. Family trips, adult-only trips, business outings. If you have young children, if you have older children, you name it, I can plan it and make it magical for you. I am a Disney expert. I know all about the resorts, the dining plans, the My Disney Experience, dining reservations, fast passes, the parks, characters, the cruise ships, the staterooms, and itineraries, and so much more. My service is free of charge when you book with me. What does this mean? Well, my services include dining reservations, fast pass reservations, itineraries. I personalize itineraries for your vacation to save you time that you are not wasting in line. That way you can enjoy the parks and your vacation. I will continuously monitor, monitor for discounts. I have advice. I can do recommendations. I am here to answer all of your questions, and I will wait on hold for you with Disney. If you've ever done it, you know it can be a daunting process. I am here to do it for you. I am committed to providing you a magical vacation that will help you create a memory that will last a lifetime. Hi hey everybody, it is Shelby, aka WW Love and Mama. This video is not my normal weekly video because today, March 3rd, and this video is probably going to go up on the 4th, so I apologize. This video is about Epcot's International Flower and Garden Festival. One of my favorite times of the year at Epcot. I absolutely love it. It begins, like I said, March 3rd, 2021, and ends on July 5th. The longest it has ever been. So, you know, positive to the year. Flower and Garden is absolutely gorgeous. They do a fantastic job with the foliage and the topiaries. There will be topiary displays and exhibit gardens. There's outdoor kitchens, which are nice, and they are different than the outdoor kitchens at Food and Wine and Festival of the Arts and during the holidays as well. There will be live entertainment this year, and then there's fun for the littles in your life. So the topiary and garden exhibits are throughout Epcot. They are in World Showcase. They are in Future World. You will see Sorcerer Mickey. You will see Pixar characters like Woody and Bo Peep, Mickey and Friends. In each of the countries, I love how they incorporate the country into the topiary. They do the three caballeros in Mexico. Anna and Elsa in Norway, but then they also have a troll in Norway. There's a gorgeous dragon topiary in Japan. The pandas, one of my favorite in China. Then in Germany, they do Snow White, so they do incorporate characters as well. This year, they're going to have a Remy one in France, so that is fantastic, along with Beauty and the Beast as always, Peter Pan and Captain Hook, so I do enjoy that. The global gardens are gorgeous. They're floating gardens especially over by the monorail area that goes through the park. Absolutely stunning. It's a great picture if you can do it, <laughs> if you can time it just right. But unfortunately, the Epcot monorail is not running right now. It was running the other day, but it is not running. So there is that as well. Um, but like I said, and there's a bamboo garden in China and a Chinese zodiac topiary garden in China. There's an alpine miniature garden in Germany. Also in Germany, just a little side note, check out the miniature trains because they decorate that as well. They add incorporate things in it, into it as well to celebrate the Flower and Garden Festival. The outdoor kitchens. Now, the outdoor kitchens are also throughout Future World and World Showcase. I'm not going to go through the menus. Uh, you have the, the Germany. You have a cider house in World Showplace. There's uh, Citrus Blossom. That's a return, um, Epcot Farmer's Feast, Sunshine Griddle. That sounds good. That's actually kind of new. Uh, Festival Favorites, Flavorful Kitchen, uh, 
there's one in France, Japan, the Honey Bistro that is back as well. There's one in Mexico. There's one in between Morocco and France. Lotus House in China. There's one by the American Adventure Pavilion. There's Northern Bloom in Canada. Pineapple Promenade. That is fantastic. You can get Dole Whip there as well. Uh, Primavera Kitchen in Italy. The Taste of Marrakesh in Morocco. There is Trial and Trellis, which is hosted by Impossible Foods. So that is going to be a plant-based uh, food booth, kitchen, outdoor kitchen. And then there are like little ones as well. Additional locations, refreshment port, refreshment outpost, and there's funnel cake throughout and Joffrey's. So the outdoor kitchens are wonderful. For entertainment for the Flower and Garden Festival, you have the Jammin' Gardeners on the Canada stage. Voices of Liberty will be on the America Theater stage. The Mariachi Cobra will be also at the American Theater stage. There will be a pianist in World Show Place. Not sure where yet <laughs> that would be. Um, City Beautiful Bandstand. So they perform the songs of yesterday and today. They're going to be performing on Sunday, Monday, Friday, and Saturday only. And they are also on the theater stage in America. There will also be a Motown in Motion a Motown musical tribute as well on the American theater stage and a vintage vinyl band, vintage pop will be there as well. The hooligans pop. It says it's the rock the night away to classic tunes ranging, ranging from the British invasion to eighties pop to nineties alternative. And then there's the spasmatics. They are the eighties <laughs> big on the eighties. And Latin Ambition, which is Latin pop as well. And they are by date. So depending on when you are going, one of these musical acts will be performing on the American theater stage. For the littles in your life, there is the Butterfly House. And this is so much fun. And it's so lovely. And it is a must-see. There is also, you can purchase a scavenger hunt guide. It's called Spike's Pollination Exploration. And you look for Spike, the little bee, and he can be hard to find. So you might have to help. And then once you fill out this sheet, you take it back to where you purchased it and they will give you a prize. Because Easter falls during this time, there's going to be an extravaganza scavenger hunt along with the Spike scavenger hunt. And you will look, once again purchase a sheet and then you get stickers with it, and you look, go around Epcot and look for decorative Easter eggs inspired by Disney characters, and then you take your sheet back once it's filled for a prize. So Epcot International Flower and Garden is a go this year. That is fantastic. Like I said, it goes until July 5th. This is one of the most peaceful times, I believe, to go to Epcot, and you still get food booths. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's never as crowded as Food & Wine, which is always a plus. But if you are interested in going, please let me know and I will get you out a free quote. And I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.